It's 12 o'clock, midday, on a weekday, and it is this busy. Look at this. At Ibrox, there's like flag sellers, scarf sellers. I'm here today to film a video with Sharp Div. You'll all know him. Big Rangers fan. He's been on the channel a few times before. I want to ask him about the rebuild of Rangers Football Club um, and just talk about the new season and all the new signings and stuff. Should be an interesting video. And I thought it'd be completely dead here and it should be me and him walking around, but it's absolutely rammed. Who can you see from there then? You see Lodi, Bonner. Yeah. Balogun. Looks like they're playing a strange Right, mate. Been on the channel a number of times now. Good to see you again. Before we get into a couple of the questions about like the new signings and stuff, what are your thoughts going into the season, not just for Rangers, but also for your big rival Celtic and then down the bottom of the league as well? What are you, what are you predicting this season? Really looking forward to it, of course. It always comes around quick. It feels like forever. And then when it comes around, you think, well, it's, it's came around quite quick and such. So Rangers got a lot of their business done early, which I think was important. And most of the new recruitments have had a full pre-season under their belt. Um, Danilo's just been added to the equation and he comes with a big reputation I think, a big wage pack and yep. such so he I think needs to hit the ground running but yeah very exciting it is a, a big a big rebuild with Alexia, yep. a big revamp, a lot of key players leaving, looks like a lot of big players coming in, on paper looks great, looks really good, really exciting and, and stuff but um, I think it's also important that Rangers hit the ground running and the players gel. Yeah. There's a lot of talent in there. There's a, uh, it looks good on paper, but they need to gel, and I think they need to gel quickly. Talking of gelling quickly, I think there's an open training session today, isn't there? Which is why it's so busy here today. But um, in terms of like the rest of the teams, then who's going down this season? Who's pushing for Europe? And then who's going to win the league? Yeah, that's an easy one for you to answer, right? Yeah, I think obviously I've got it back. Yeah, back Rangers to win the league, of course. Um, but. What I would say is, I think it's imperative that we don't have a slump this season. We need to stay at it the full season. We can't afford to be drawing a couple of games in a row, losing and, and yeah. stuff like that. Um, but in terms of the rest of the league, I think Ross County looked quite weak. Um, last Just season, survived last season, they didn't conceded they? a lot of goals and also St Johnston. I worry okay. for St Johnston, they're yeah. just off the back of getting thumped 4 now off Stirling Albion. Yeah, um, saw that. And at the open goal thing last night, the St Johnston fan was saying Stirling were good for it. So it wasn't okay. even as if whatever. Yeah. So I, I, I would probably tip St Johnston to go down okay. at this current moment. Right. Um, in terms of pushing for Europe and that, I would put Hearts up there as being favourites by a lot of people fancy Aberdeen. Yeah. But I think um, in, with the European football, it could be a factor for them. Cool. Who are you sad about seeing leave then? Uh, McGregor. 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 What about Kent and Morelos? Uh, Kent. Uh... We've got some of the uh, players for this season up behind you there. Obviously one of the stalwarts of the last few years has been Tav behind you. Mm -hmm. Quite a few players have left the club, some of them for free, big names as well. What have you thought about some of the players that have left Ibrox this summer? Um, judging off last season, it was probably about time for them to move on. And I think it was right. I was kind of, I was clutching on to Ryan Kent. Mm -hmm. I think he rekindled a wee bit of form last season when Michael Beale came in and then he just tailed off again. I was clutching on to him because everybody knows on his day Ryan Kent is obviously really good. But a couple of seasons ago, for me, he really had to kick on and improve his numbers, and he never. So, although loved Alfredo, and he still not got a club by the way. Yeah, Alfredo, I, I know. Which, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, aye, it's yeah. mental. It just goes to show you maybe what his performances have been like in the last year or whatever. Although I absolutely love Alfredo, loved Ryan Kent. Where's his level, Morelos? Morelos? Yeah. Right now, it's hard to tell, judging off last season. I don't see him getting a big move. A few years ago, when Porto were sniffing about, Leo yep. had put a, an offer in for him. I would have seen him at one He's of the your highest club. European scorer, isn't he? So He is, aye. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, a lot of them have came in the qualifiers yep. and, and that. So Still a good record, though. It's still a great record yep. to hold, but... And were you frustrated in the way that those two, obviously McGregor was old and he's retired and a few players have left for, for free in the past that you're like, fair enough, then they were never going to play. But Kent and Morelos, you could have sold them after the Europa League final for 15, 20 million each potentially. You know, yeah. their, their stock was so high. Is that frustrating that they've gone and you haven't really recouped anything for them? From a business point of view, it's catastrophic. And, but obviously there's been a lot of changes at board level with Angels, so we're hoping with the new, the new garden, um, things improve, mm -hmm. communication improves, and decisions like that have got to improve. Yep. I mean, with the fact, even a couple of seasons ago, we could have lost Conor Goldson on a free. 
Yeah, true. Yeah, he's Everybody just signed again. He was away yeah, and yeah. he was, is our most important centre half. Yeah. He's a massive part of the team. He could have been away. Gross mismanagement. Same with Alfredo Morelos and Ryan Kent. No getting anything for them isn't good enough for yep. me. And it's a it's a massive blunder on behalf of the club for sure. But hopefully they have learned from it and when they are uh, when they do have talent they, they sell them at the right the right point in time or whatever. And I'm gonna ask you about the new signings a little bit later in this video, but out of the players from last season, who are you expecting to kick on the most and who impressed you the most towards the back end of last term? Well, it's got to be Campbell. It's, got to be, yeah. it's got to be uh, his passion, his desire is, is unmatched. And obviously Raskin as well, the man behind me, yeah, is, is just a, a really tidy player. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the both of them now they've had a full pre-season under their belt. Yeah. But in terms of last season, Cantwell really impressed me. He's got great leadership skills, he's no here to mess about. Mm -hmm. um, and now I think he's got real quality. So this season is obviously, as you mentioned earlier, Beale's first pre-season. Yep. He came in through midway through last season. What do you think the difference is with this summer compared to last summer with Gio at the helm? I think fitness is going to be much improved um, from from what you're hearing last season the pre-season was pretty technical yep. there wasn't as much running and such in fitness and Rangers looked good in the pre-season but then yep. when it came in the nitty gritty in the season that we, we, we were running in quicksand so I think the press is going to be a lot better this year from uh, Bill's side I think there's going to be I think they're going to have there'll be more attacking yep. intent um, and the shape as well. I think he's got to be. I think he'll be flexible with the shape. Yeah. But he will have a clear identity hopefully this season. And and I'm hoping that it's attacking. I mean, we look at the signings that we've brought in. Three, four quality forward players. Mm -hmm. I think that's a statement of intent of what what he intends to do. And I think the last old firm game there showed the the press and the energy that a Michael Beale yep. team he, he really wants. Who are you most excited about? This is the exciting part of the season, isn't it? So Seeing the new players and the new yeah, kits absolutely. and all that, yeah. So far, it looks like Lammers. He okay. he looks really, really good. He looks versatile. Um, he reminds me a wee bit of Yanis Hadji, but with a bit more pace. Um, so, uh, probably Lammers, but also with the Brazilian coming in. Yeah. Danilo. Danilo yeah. Uh, scored a lot of goals. He came, f he came from Brazil to Ajax Academy. Scored a lot of goals in the Ajax Academy. Started for the first team and then was obviously sold or whatever to Feyenoord. Yeah. Never played much last season, but still managed to score 14 His goal goals. His goal record looks and actually a, pretty good yeah, for the games. Yeah, and a, and yeah. a title winning season for Feyenoord yeah. as well. So it's not as if you're signing a player who's been doing the bottom end of a team. He's been at a team that's won the league last year against quality opposition yeah. in Ajax. And, and such, you've so seen it at the other side of the city, I suppose, when Celtic have signed a player who just ends up being a superstar in Scottish mm -hmm. football. I feel like, apart from Celtic and Rangers, the level isn't obviously amazing, particularly outside the top six as well. So I think you sometimes need a star to come in, like a Danilo potentially, yeah. who can just come and hit the ground running and just look world class in this league. Do you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, and I'm hoping that he is the man to do that. Anyone else? Sterling, obviously, new right back to take some minutes off a of Tav. He plays yeah. a lot of games. I think he's in I, his thirties now. You I know, I think he had a wee injury during the pre-season, so he came in a bit later in terms of playing in the matches. So not seen much of Sterling, but again, he has got a, a good reputation. Comes from a good academy. Played a lot of games in the English Championship yeah. last season as well. So looks a big physical lad. I think Tav's needing a break now and again. He's yeah. played near enough every single. Plays a lot of minutes, doesn't he? I feel for him because when people criticise him, mm -hmm. he obviously scores so many goals and yeah. he plays so many minutes as well. When you're in your 30s, playing the minutes he does, like he needs someone in yeah. behind him I, who's younger. You know, I think he also he, he gets a lot of criticism, but more often than not, when Rangers are looking on the pitch to rely on somebody, mm -hmm. he's a man that steps up yep. time, time after time. And yes, people will question his defence and stuff, but and they'll question him as a captain because he's not the most vocal captain. But in terms of leading by example in the pitch, I think he's second to none and he does that time and time again and he even done it in pre-season now. Yep. I think he looks tired a bit. He's like, do I need to do this again? Do I need to carry <laughs> yeah. him again? Get him another goal yeah. and stuff? Get him another assist? 
but I, I think he comes under unfair criticism. Um, but to go back to your question, obviously your boy Sterling and Dissers coming in as well. Well, obviously all the attacking even, players. Even what Kieran Dowell and Jack Butland as yeah. well. Wow, what You've a... had a few keeping issues, I think, the last couple of years, haven't what you? McLaughlin, addition. McGregor, who's number one? Mm -hmm. you got Butland now. Butland to come in, he's still young. He was at Manchester United last season, yes, he was setting third choice or whatever, but he's got a good reputation. Yeah. If we can keep him fit, I think he can really kick on and kick his career on again at Rangers and Dowell sure. you mentioned as well Kieran Dowell some good free transfers right? Kieran Dowell was one where I thought oh he's just kind of just got to come in but seeing pre-season I've been impressed with him mm -hmm. I think he's got a lot of energy he looks like a Michael Beal player to go back to what we were talking about with the yeah. high press and the pre-season games he's out left he's getting into the box he's good in the ball so yeah and even when you look at the academy I'm really excited with the academy I hope that some of the players can get more minutes like your Alex Lowry's even Bailey Rice very good player Bailey Rice I've been impressed with him um, is Lovelace Fable still here? As well. Zach Lovelace, he was yeah. playing first team football before he came to Rangers, he's a whippet. Uh, I think he got five assists the other day against Brentford B. It's a shame Leon King got injured as well. Leon King, King, so even Devine. Yeah. I think we've got a lot of talent in the Youth Academy. Great to see more of the boys as well get a chance. Sharp Dib, what a guy. We filmed quite a few videos like this um, in the past, just about different topics uh, regarding Rangers, obviously. Um, and yeah, just thought I'd do a video like this today to get back to Rangers, to do a video covering the start of the Premiership season, which is starting this weekend. Um, I've obviously got match day vlogs planned all throughout the season. I'll be covering Scottish football, doing different videos like this one today as well. But um, yeah, just to give you my thoughts, I think Rangers have made some incredible signings on paper. Whether it will transfer to grass, obviously, remains to be seen right now. Um, but Danilo seems fantastic. There's still um, talk of one or two signings still coming in. Obviously, Butland is a very big signing. A huge thank you for all the support, people of Scotland. I cannot wait for the season to start. Um, I'm buzzing for pre-season to be over. As much as I couldn't wait for the break, I now cannot wait for the season to start. Um, I did go to my first competitive game of the season just recently. Um, I went to a game in the lowest tier. I've got loads of non-league videos coming up this week, as well as like other videos involving some of the bigger clubs as well. So if you aren't subscribed, please do click on that button below. Um, I'll leave a couple of videos on screen um, what shall I leave on screen I just mentioned my bottom tier video there um, non league video that I made the other day I'll leave that on screen as well as maybe something from Rangers as well so um, if you're a Rangers supporter and you want to see more Rangers content then click on that one if you want to see some lower league stuff and you're just involved in uh, and you like Scottish football um, then click on the lower league one thank you so much for watching and goodbye